Grange articulated this policy when he was asked by the media about his views on direct cash transfers to households. Since it was proposed by economist Dr. Clive Thomas, the topic has generated much discussion from civil society to politicians. When asked about his views on the subject, the president had this to say. As he said, all matters, all matters concerning oil and gas have been referred to the Department of Energy, including that proposal. Has it been discussed as cabinet? Thank you. No, it has been discussed and wouldn't be discussed until recommendations are made by the Department of Energy. The president was also asked about the government's local content legislative agenda. It was pointed out that the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce and Industry had been critical of the delay in enacting local content legislation. In addition, the chamber took it upon itself to submit model local content legislation to the government. When asked about this, the president referred all such questions to the Energy Department. Granger also said that the department was asked to engage the media next month. All matters concerned have been referred to the Department of Energy. And I've asked the Department of Gen Energy to have an engagement with the media during the month of October so that we can go through, we can respond to all of the questions. But I don't want to deal with oil and gas in a piecemeal manner. And the Department of Energy, Dr. Mark Bino, is going to respond to those queries. It was only in July that environment and resource economist Dr. Mark Bino was appointed to head the department. He will have much to oversee, ranging from local content policy to ring fencing and cost recovery claims. Gerald Bryan, The Evening News.